So just wanted to give you all a quick little update here about how things are going. I've got a lot on my mind lately. Um, and I, and I started to, to think about just how much of the stuff on my mind is not what I, just how normal a lot of it is, right? Like the things that I've got on my mind right now are you know, drug test for this job I'm, I'm trying to get. They said it's basically it's mine uh, if I pass the background check and drug test, and I have no reason to believe that I won't because I don't think they're testing for nicotine or tobacco. But uh, yeah, so I thought about it more and I thought about how a lot of the people who have these big platforms, you know, the 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 Tim Pools and PewDiePies and and you know IRL famous people like traditionally famous people how easy it is for them to say oh you know you got to focus on your family and your community and on this local stuff right because they already have what I've wanted for so long right and so I got to thinking, you know, maybe I'm wrong for wanting this. Maybe I'm wrong for wanting to be famous. Uh, I mean, after all, it's usually the they, the people who don't, you know, ever see themselves becoming famous are often the ones who just get discovered. Um, the people who just grind at it and keep at it. Um, Which is not me, honestly. I, I, I've been wasting a lot of my time lately. Um, I, I get, Maybe wasting isn't the right term. I've been spending a lot of my free time lately just playing video games, just playing Persona 5. And not even live streaming or, or recording it because, you know, uh, it's on a PS4 that's like the family's. It's not on my PC. Uh, but once I beat the game once and go through one run through, I'm thinking about, you know, recording and live streaming again. Um, but man, that game is just so fun to me. It's just sucked my whole life up these past, uh, like couple weeks. <sighs> Cause I got the game on like December 30th and it's, uh, today's date is January the 14th. So, <laughs> um, I thought about how they say everyone's the hero of their own story, right? And I thought a lot about what it is that I wanted in life. And I realized that what I wanted was, like I said, everyone's the hero of their own story. But what I've wanted for so long is for my story to, to be told, to actually be told to people outside my community. For people outside my family to know who I am and to care about, you know my existence in terms of like what it is that I produce and create. But I realized that a long time ago, I gave up on that in the sense that I just stopped creating, but I still wanted the results, you know? Cause I did YouTube for a while and I really tried at it, but it didn't really go anywhere. And I told myself, what's the point of trying if it's not, you know, what's the point of putting all this effort in if, I'm not getting the results I want. And people, you know, all the people who've made it will say, well, it's something you got to do because you like doing it. And I'm like, what I like doing is having people listen to me, having strangers listen to me. That's why I love public speaking so much. That's why my uh, speech class in community college that I took was my favorite class ever. Like the professor in that class, the teacher, the professor in that class was like, Listen, I know you all hate public speaking and you don't want to get up here and talk in front of a bunch of people because, you know, that's very common. But I'm, like, chomping at the bit, right? That was my favorite class. Um, it would have been if it wasn't for the professor, to be quite honest, and, like, the, the st strictness of it. But in any case, it wasn't my favorite class overall, but it was probably my favorite. It was easily by far my favorite um, general studies class, like the one that's required for every degree and not my specific one far and away my favorite general studies class because I just like having people listen to me. And that's why I always wanted to get a big following on the internet, right? Because when I was a kid, you know, when I was growing up, okay, I was there for the, for the creation of YouTube, you know? (sighs) 
right? I was something like 10 years old, nine going on 10 maybe, when YouTube was created. So, um, so I was like young then. I was, I, I didn't have, you know, I couldn't really get myself started on YouTube. Hmm. But in any case, the point being, I've just always wanted, you know, I, I've wanted to be the hero of my own story like everyone else, but I've always wanted my story to become a story that's told around the campfire, metaphorically speaking, that that uh, something I do would be seen by multitudes of people and, uh, and just, you know, I wanted to blow up. But see, my goal was to blow up and act like I did know everybody. Somewhere along the way, I gave up. But lately, I've been thinking about a lot of normal life stuff, and I started realizing that thinking about normal, average, everyday, non-famous person stuff and just trying to get by doesn't bother me as much as it used to, because in the end, you know, the people that I meet face-to-face who remember me They're part of the story. They're part of my story. And I'm part of their story. So, you know, maybe I'll never blow up the way I want to. Maybe I'll never have the career and the life that I want, per se. But I think that I'm starting to get to a point where, given my plans for the future and everything, I think I'm okay with that. Because, in the end... If just speaking in front of people is what I really want to do, I can find a way to do it. I could go work for nonprofits. You know? Give speeches about them, volunteer to talk to people about stuff like that. I'll find a way. But for right now, I gotta hit this uh, stop record button, get inside, and get back to my normal average, everyday, average Joe life with my family. I wouldn't trade that for anything. I'm kind of greedy. I want all the things that I mentioned, but I wouldn't trade what I have for it. I, I, would, I would love to have it both. I would love to, to have it both ways, to have my family and the fame, but... I wouldn't trade the former for the latter. Even if it was a guarantee. At least that's what I tell myself. Knowing me, who knows? But I like to think that I would never trade the former for the latter. It's what I tell myself to sleep at night anyway. And it's what I truly believe, too. It's what I truly believe. I just... I can't say that I know for certain, like, empirically. But it's what I believe. Well, in any case, this is North Sea Hero, signing out.